station that gives money to kids to go to school who have lost a parent in the war on terror since 9-11. Um, I'm going to introduce some people and just let them address you real quick, and then I'll give you the ride instructions, and we'll do our colors, and we'll hit it, okay? First person I want to introduce is Jonathan Formo. He owns Redline Cycles. He was kind enough to let us come out today. Give Jonathan a big hand. Yeah. They are normally closed on Sunday, but he was kind enough to bring in his, his employees in and open up so we could enjoy the air condition. And he was also responsible for these stunt riders. Give them guys a big hand. Boys are crazy. I'm going to let Jonathan just say a couple words to you. I just want to thank everybody for coming out and, and hope everybody has a good, safe trip on this ride. I know it's for a great cause and uh, appreciate the stunt riders coming out and showing off their, their skills. It's pretty amazing what they can do on this thing. Um, really glad to see the diversity of people now. You know, we got sport bike riders, cruisers, Harleys, Hondas, all different brands riding together and it shows the brotherhood of riding motorcycles. It's a great sport that we have and uh, this is a great cause that you guys are doing. So, uh, appreciate everybody coming out and uh, y'all have a great ride. Thank you, Jonathan. I also wanted to say, if you're just pulling in, like that old guy back there on the Indian-looking mic, uh, since we've shut down registration, I still have tickets uh, to the park and stuff, and I will be under the main tent at the vineyard. When we get up there, you can pay me and register up there, okay? So go ahead and ride with us and just register up there. Next person I want to introduce is Jeff Alderman. He's, uh, he's our connection for Freestyle Music Park. He deserves a great big hand. <laughs> Jeff's responsible for arranging this whole uh, end of ride finale that we're having and where he's letting everybody in and letting them enjoy the park for a day. I'm going to let Jeff just give you a quick rundown about the park. Everyone, thanks for coming out. We really appreciate uh, everyone participating in this great cause. Um, I want to thank everybody for coming to Freestyle Music Park at the end. We'll have you coming through the tolls real smooth and parking and designated parking and come out and enjoy the park. And thanks again for coming. Next person I want to introduce is our director. He's also our state director for the American Legion Riders. Uh, he's a Vietnam veteran. And to all you Vietnam vets, we want to say welcome home and all our Iraqi and Afghanistan brothers too, welcome home. He's a Vietnam veteran, he's a Purple Heart recipient, and uh, he's one of my best friends in the world, Bob Duncan. Good morning. Good morning. As I say, good morning, Vietnam. I'd like to thank the First Division dudes that are here at the spot. I want to thank Rick, Sunshine Freddy, Freestyle Park, Bob and Abby. Little Abby, a color guard, Gabby. Yeah, I got too many Abbies and Gabbies around. But I want to thank all of you, man, for coming out and supporting this. This fundraising thing is one of the greatest things that's happening in the American Legion. Last year, they had a, a quota, for, uh, they were looking for $300,000 nationwide. They got 400000 close to 500000 This year, it's for 400000 we're hoping to get for a half a million dollars, and this is all part of it. Last year we took out five hundred dollars. This year we hope to take out a few thousand dollars. And it's all because of all of you that showed up here today. The one thing that you can remember is you're going to help support a child, a fallen hero, since 2001 for a chance and a scholarship. So these we can all do for these children. It's a sad thing, but. More children are alone today in this war than any other war we see. God bless you. Thank you all. And have a great day. Thank you, Bob. Uh, I'm not going to ask this person to come up, but I want him to raise his hand, and I want you all to give a big round of applause. It's our post commander for American Legion, Post 178 Merle's Inlet, Mr. Richard Sullivan. He's standing right there. He's driving our chase vehicle today. If you have any problems with your bike, just pull over and they will pick you up and take care of you. Next person I want to introduce real quick, and she's probably not going to say nothing because she's going to sing for you, man. This is Gabby Ray. I don't know if any of you know Gabby Ray or not. This is a famous youngin' right here. She's been on national TV, and this girl can sing. And if you haven't heard her, I promise you, you're going to be blessed. I'll let you say hi. Uh, hi, I'm really uh, honored to be here, and I'm really... Uh 
grateful that y'all would just come out for our great cause. Gabby Ray. Last but not least, before I give you the ride instructions, I'm going to introduce one more pair. Uh, they are my buddies. They uh, can be kind of crazy sometimes, but they're a lot of fun to be around. And uh, they make the mornings fun. Every morning, Monday through Friday, from 6 to 10, from the TNA Morning Show, Tom and Abby. Hey, everybody. Thanks again for everybody coming out. Man, we really appreciate it. What a great turnout uh, this is. Hey. Uh, three years ago, uh, we had a guy, Rick Sun, working with us, Levi. We call him the Ginger Avenger on our show. And, uh, and he said that his dad wanted to talk to me about doing a ride. And I was like, oh, you know, this guy's, you know, I'm working him like a slave, so I got to at least talk to his dad about something. And uh, sat with Rick, I got to know him, and I liked him a lot, and I said, well, uh, let's do a charity ride. I've never done a charity ride before. Abby and I had never done one. And uh, we put it together, and that first year, I think we got about, uh, what, 75 riders maybe? It turned out really well, raised some good money for a great cause. Did it the next year over 350 people, and uh, it's really turning into something. And, you know, Abby and I, you know, we announce it and we, we talk about it on the air. Uh, if it weren't for Rick, though, I got to tell you, I don't think, you know, as much as we were able to broadcast it and talk about it, without this man right here, this ride would not happen. He has put in so much legwork and hard work and his own money to make this happen. And uh, I just want to thank Rick for, uh, for putting this on for this job. Abby finally let her husband, he's got a nice Harley that's been in the garage for about a year, uh, has not ridden it. Today she has allowed, she's taken the shackles off. And Abby, I'd like to thank you for allowing Derek to ride today with us. Oh, look at him over there. He's glowing. Thanks you guys again for coming out. We appreciate it. We appreciate you supporting the show. Thank you to all the volunteers that volunteered their time today. But this ride would not be possible without every one of you. So thank you. And let's have a fun, safe ride today. Tom and Abby, make sure you listen to them. 96.1 FM WKZQ, 6 to 10, Monday through Friday. Was that good? Did I do that right? Okay. All right. Here's our ride instructions. And they're real simple. We're going to ride staggered. Let's stay tight. We don't want to get loose enough where our car can get between us. We're going to leave out of here. We're going to go up and get on 31, take 31 all the way to 22, 22 to 90, and 90 into the vineyard. And basically, we're going to do the same ride in reverse, except for we're going to exit 31 and hit the frontage road over to the park. Now, this is very important. We're going to lead out and stay in the center lane on 31 until we get close to the 22 exit. And we need everybody to, uh, you know what, I'm going to change that plan right now. We're going to stay in the right lane. That way we won't have to shift. We're going to start in the right lane and stay in the right lane. I know when you get on 31, it's fun to spread out and, you know, catch some wind. But we really need everybody to stay staggered in the right lane. And the reason being is we have road captains that are going to be flying back and forth up the lanes beside us letting us know when everybody is together and blocking traffic. So please stay in the right lane with us. Um, if something happens and somebody pulls out ahead of you, the last thing we need is this. You know, if somebody pulls out of you and you're staggered and you realize that two of you are over on the right, hold your position on the right and let the left side come up. You know, because when everybody starts crossing back and forth in that lane, it gets kind of crazy, okay? Um, so that's pretty much it. When we get to the vineyard, just pull all the way in and around the loop. You'll see where we're going. They'll have plenty of refreshments up there for us. Be safe. Have a great ride. Uh, we're going to have the American Legion present the colors. Gabby Ray is going to sing the national anthem. And then we're going to have the uh, blessing and we're going to pull out. So as soon as the prayer is done, everybody can move to their bike and mount up and get ready to go. And like I said, remember, let these guys over here pull out first. Okay? Thank you again. Give y'all self a big hand. Make sure you call all your friends and tell them that they missed an awesome ride today. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the American Legion Post 178 Color Guard from Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. <laughs>